Hi, Kelly. So we're going to do the, the smart light bulb, but first of all, I want to go over some pre-treatment instructions with you, okay? So one of the things we're going to need to get is some blood, and I'm going to measure to see whether you're anemic or not. If you're anemic, we might not do the procedure, or if you're a little bit anemic, we might want to add some iron. So it's just to give me an idea of how much blood you have in you at the current time. Because we are going to be sucking things out and blood vessels can rupture and we just want to make sure that you can handle that, okay? Mm -hmm. Then we're going to check about your bleeding. If you have something like hemophilia or a bleeding disorder, obviously that would be a contraindication for doing this because you keep bleeding. We don't want that, right? Yeah. We're also going to check your liver enzymes, your kidney function, to make sure that you can handle the medicine that I'm going to give you and that you won't have an adverse reaction to that. And I'm assuming everything will be okay, all right? Now, sometimes we'll get um, something like an AIDS test or something like that, but only if that's indicated. In your case, obviously, that's not the case, okay? I'm also going to give you a prescription for three things. I'm going to give you a prescription for Keflex if you're not allergic to anything, okay? And then, and are you allergic to anything? No. Okay. This is to help prevent an infection. And as you remember, we talked about what are some of the complications we could have, and infection is one of them. Well, I'm also going to give you some Vicodan, or depending on your allergies, if you're not allergic to codeine, I'll give you some Vicodan. If you are, I'll give you something else. This is for the pain afterwards, and as we mentioned, the pain is basically a soreness. It's not really a pain. The third thing I'm going to give you is something called Ativan, and that's to relax you. A lot of my patients like to take it the night before the surgery. I shouldn't say surgery. The night before the procedure, okay, to help them relax, and then we'll give you some during the procedure. So you'll be nice and relaxed during the procedure, okay? Um, you'll need to arrange transportation so that somebody can drive you home because you will be medicated. And I think you have your husband that will do that for you, right? Yes. Okay. And then the day following this procedure is when we'll take another look at you. You'll be able to drive yourself here at that time, okay? Yes. Um, if you take a blood thinner like baby aspirin or aspirin for any reason, you should stop that about a week or two before the procedure, okay? Um, and also, some of the multivitamins and some of the supplements can cause a little bit of bleeding. For example, vitamin C, vitamin E, uh, and some of the, the ginkgo biloba, and some of those things. So be sure and tell me what you're taking so I can look it up to make sure it doesn't cause increased bleeding on you. Okay? Um, I want you to drink lots and lots of water. Okay? Water is important to flush this stuff out of your system. I want you well hydrated during the procedure. And the day that you do the procedure with me. The morning I want you to use Physohex or Betadine or some type of antibacterial soap to clean you off. Now I'll be also cleaning you here with an antiseptic as well, okay? Uh, don't use any uh, creams, you know, makeups or things like that because obviously it would be hard to clean off, okay? Um, and I want you to wear comfortable clothes uh, and clothes that you don't mind if they get dripped on. Okay, I will be sending home with you some chucks to put under your pillow and your, and your sheets because you will leak like a sieve. So don't use your satin sheets the okay. next day. Okay. okay. Um, and finally, um, you probably would want to eat a little breakfast, and that's what's neat about this is uh, as we do the procedure, you can eat because you don't lose your protective reflexes. Okay. okay. Any questions on those? Okay. Good, then I'll just have you sign this and we'll be all set to go. Thank you. Thank you.